Hey, my name is Javier Otero. My name is Colin Costa. My name is Vanessa Mujica. And this is our AC Circuits project. This is us building our multi-sim uh, circuit. We're, we're going to be using a 330 ohm resistor and a 1 kilo ohm resistor. And we'll have an AC power source with 1.41 VRMS and 650 hertz. Here I'm picking out my resistor. I'm going to put that at the top. Next, I'm gonna pick out my one. That's my one. That's my 330 kilo, uh, 330 ohm resistor. Next, I'm gonna pick out my one kilo ohm resistor. Here, we're gonna place it to the right. Make sure it's all square. I'm gonna rotate it so we can connect it. Here I'm getting my AC power source. We're going to have to rename that in a second. So I put my ground first to make sure I have all my components set so we can put the, I mean, connect them. Here we are connecting the resistors in a, a series configuration. We connect the ground, make sure we change that color. We're gonna change it here in a second. Meters. We gotta grab both of our voltimeters for for the circuit. We're gonna move it a little bit to the right so we can get more space, get more comfortable. Here we're gonna connect these, connect them to positive to the top, negative to the bottom. Same thing on this side, positive to the top, negative to the bottom. change our values, change our, our <laughs> the names of the multimeters. Take off the the show value so it's just the name. Makes it simpler. There we put we we put the correct hertz on the power source, and the correct VRMS. Now, now we're gonna uh, grab the oscilloscope. Here's our oscilloscope. 
I'm gonna place it on the top. Make sure we connect channel one, connect to the repositor on top, right there. And now we're gonna grab the channel one negative. Make sure we put it at the bottom, right next to that uh, voltmeter. Is channel two is the positive. We're gonna put it at the top again. Same thing. Top of R two. And then the negative of channel two is gonna go at the bottom of R two. So this is the positive of channel two. We're gonna put it at the top of R two. Now we're doing negative of channel two. We're gonna put it at the bottom of R2. Here, we're gonna have to change that color. Make sure we can distinguish it. Oh, my bad. Let's fix that. Do that again. Yep, there you go. Now it's green. I'm gonna put this on blue. That way we can tell where our negatives are or our ground. There you go. And that's our circuit. Move a little bit to the left to make sure it's nice and centered. Yep, that's our secret. Hi guys, so now we're working on the oscilloscope measurements and multisim. So first, we'll be recording the period for our be in. We're taking the cursors. And placing in the y-axis to zero, so we can get the period, okay? So we got the result, 1.538 microseconds as our period. So now we're calculating peak to peak. We take cursor two, we put it to the, uh, to the maximum, and then we take cursor one to the minimum, and then we got the result for our voltage in BN. Hey, it's Colin. I'm recording the peak-to-peak uh, -peak and period of V2. First thing we do is put, put the cursors um, for the period um, at the correct spots. And then we measure the period, which is at the bottom. Then we set our Y minimum and Y max. Uh, the cursor is the Y minimum and max, and then we read what's at the bottom, which should give us our peak-to-peak -peak value. Hey, so here we are in um, real time doing old-school measurements for multi-sim. Right now we're writing the frequency or volt peak-to-peak -peak for Fn. So our volt peak-to-peak -peak is 650 hertz.
we are writing down that VRMS equals 0 0.707 with parentheses for VP P over 2. And here we are doing some calculations, same calculations that we wrote down in the calculator. And this equation should lead us to the answer 1.414 VRMS. Here we are recording frequency in, and that would we are using the equation 1 over T in. And we wrote down that that equals to 1 over 1 1.538 times 10 to the negative third power. And us doing the calculations on the calculator, that should equal to 650.19 hertz. As you can tell, we rounded a little bit, but, you know, that's okay. This is our multi-sim recording for uh, F2. We're measuring the frequency of... Um, F2. The equation that we're using is 1 over T2, um, and that would equal to 1 over 1 1.538 times 10 negative 3, which should equal to 650 hertz. Here we're going to build our circuit on the bench. First of all, we're going to test those resistors, make sure they're the right power. Put that on ohms now. There you go. Make sure it's L1. Yep. This is supposed to be our 330. It's 328. It's close enough. This is supposed to be our one kilo ohm resistor right here. Connect these two. Now we're gonna put. There you go. Okay, make sure it's a kilo ohm. There you go, kilo ohm. Nine, and then four is close enough again. Now we're gonna put this 330 on the top. Make sure it's just like the multi sim. We're gonna put the one kilo ohm on the bottom now. Make sure you put in the same row as the negative of 330, or the right side of 330. Now we're gonna connect, now we're gonna connect the positive and the negative. Okay, so here we're putting the positive from the Function generator. Oh, I forgot to do find the correct VRMS. Gotta put the right amplitude. Here we're gonna connect positive with positive. We're gonna be the digi digital mul multimeter connected to the function generator. We connect the positive to the oscilloscope on channel one to positive. Now we're gonna do negative from digital mul multimeter to function generator and then connect the negative from the oscilloscope to those two negatives. There you go, just like that. Now we're gonna find, make sure we have that correct uh, frequency start this correct frequency it's at 650 there you go we put in AC now we put the amplitude try and make sure we got yeah, yeah that's perfect um okay 
We're going to put it down to 1.414 or as close as we can. This is going to be hard. It's always hard. Right there. Right there. That's as close as we're going to get. I'm going to turn that off. Disconnect. Let me show you an oscilloscope real quick. Connect all these cables. Now we're going to connect the function generator, which is our power source. We're going to give our correct power right here, negative to negative. And positive to positive. We're going to do put this. This channel one, we're gonna put it on the top of R1. And then this is gonna be our negative, we're gonna put it on this blue strand. This is connected to our negative. Now we're gonna grab channel two, we're gonna connect it on the top of R2. And we're gonna grab our negative and connect it to the bottom of R2. Here we have our circuit. Let's turn on this digital multimeter and the function generator. Make sure it's uh, all the values are correct. Hey, it's Colin again, and we're doing the uh, new school measurements on the bench. Uh, we are doing channel one first, and the process for doing that is relatively simple. We just press measure, and we find uh, the the indicated values. So first we're doing VRMS which is indicated at 1.40 volts. Uh, then we're doing uh, peak to peak of channel 1 uh, channel one, uh, which is uh, 4 volts. 4.08 volts. Uh, now we're doing uh, the period and frequency. The period is 1.54 milliseconds and the frequency is 649.4 hertz and that's with some change we're now doing channel 2 and it's the, pretty much the exact same process we uh, click measure uh, we go to voltage find VRMS um, the VRMS reads oh, the VRMS reads as 1.45 volts also and then we find the volt peak to peak. And that reads as 4.16 volts. And then again for the period and frequency, we go down to time and period is 1.54 milliseconds. And the frequency should be 649 hertz. So now we'll do bench all school for or input source. But before we do the formula, VRMS equals 0707 times or peak to peak divided by 2. And that gives a result 1.414. Then here we have our calculator to make sure we have our numbers correct. As we see, we have the current number. Now we are proceeding to do OR voltage peak to peak. Okay, look at the oscilloscope, channel 1.
we're adjusting our oscilloscope to make sure we got the correct calculations. Okay, now we're doing our peak to peak, counting the squares, one, two, three, and four for the IV. As we see, we have four, and we multiply that. We see we have our time one. and that gives you the result to our four peak to peak. Now we need to calculate our period for it being old school. Let's adjust the oscilloscope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And with the points we put 7.6. Times or time is 200 microseconds, 10 to the negative 6. Now we use our calculator. So we got a results in seconds. Now we will find the frequency in using the formula one divided by the period. So one dividing for the period we just got. And we got 657.989 hertz for the frequency being. Now, we're going to calculate or channel to bench. We use the same formula for channel one or or input to calculate our BRMS in old school method. <coughs> and now we're going to do voltage peak to peak for channel B or B2. That's four s squares and we multiply that by one of the IB. And we get four voltage peak to peak. Four B2 peak to peak. Now we're going to check or period T2. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And for very close ish, it's 7.6. We multiplied our 7.6 times 226 micro microseconds. We use our calculator. Okay, with this we got our seconds for period T2. Now we're working on our frequency for V2. Use the same fr formula, 1 divided by T2. With our calculator, we got our results, 657.89.